Rihanna is suing her father, Ronald Fenty. Now this man went from selling drugs in the streets for cash to selling her brand for millions of dollars. Mike, the situation, he's entered prison. Netflix, it's jacking up its prices. Soldier Boy, he wants 5% of every rapper who came after. He, well, Superman that hoe. Drizzy Drake is gonna be doing a Vegas residency, and this is just after he built his castle in Toronto. And my friend and fellow Canadian YouTuber, Furious Pete, well, he shared with us some tragic news. We'll have all this and more in just a second. What's going on, fam? Now I know that saying gets some mixed reviews. Let me know if you love it or hate it in the comments down below. It's your boy, Michael McCredden, and welcome back to Famous News. Now there's lots of stories to get through today. And uh, well, if you wanna keep me in the loop of what stories you may want me to talk about, the best way to get a hold of me is via Instagram or Twitter at McCreddenM. There's a lot of you guys on the Instagram and the DMs, not so many on Twitter. So go and give me a follow. All right, let's get down to brass tacks. I am in the hospital. You like so much let's send the location. I'm number one. Soldier Boy sat down with the Breakfast Club for his first time ever, and this is hot off his Instagram post where, well, he had everyone talking that he had the biggest comeback in 2018. Did he really though? Huh? Tiger had the biggest. Man, get the f out of here, nigga. I had the biggest comeback, nigga. He's still coming at Tiger for his crown for the biggest comeback in 2018. He didn't really put out any fire music, but he did drop a gaming console that apparently pissed off Nintendo. Now, Soldier Boy feels he's the one responsible for paving the way for the current crop of viral rap stars, and that uh, he went on record to state he made Drake. Yeah, Drake? <laughs> Drake? He copied my whole f***ing flow! Oh, word for shit. word, bar for bar! He also talked about his past beefs with Migos and Chris Brown. He talked about his net worth. Also, Rich the Kid, he slept on his couch, and he gave Famous Dex his big break. The dude, he wants the respect he feels he deserves. They laughed at me. They thought it was a joke. I started this internet. I started the wave. I'm the reason why these new artists get signed. I'm the reason why it's a little pump. It was a really entertaining interview. I put a link to the full thing down below. And I'm thinking about doing a Soldier Boy The Rich Life video. Let me know if that's something you want to see. Now, Rihanna's dad, Ronald, he hasn't always been the best dude. Now, I know this because I've done her before their famous video. Let's take a look back. Her father, Ronald Fenty, worked as a warehouse supervisor and also sold items on the street. He himself is a mix of Irish and Barbados descent. Now, Rihanna's childhood, it was a difficult one, mainly due to her father's addictions to both crack cocaine and alcohol. Because of this, her parents, they divorced when she was 14. And, uh, well, it's important to note that her father, he since has, you know, overcome these addictions. So her dad, Ronald, real name, now, he had his troubles in the past, but by the time his daughter was a superstar, he is said to have sobered up. Now, that don't mean he, uh, he forgot how to make a buck himself. The man, he started a talent company in 2017 titled Fenty Entertainment, and he utilized his association with his daughter and his last name to pull in millions of dollars. He would book her for shows that she never agreed to perform at. And I just realized that this dude's probably walking around with a phone playing the Before They Were Famous video being like, yeah, that's me. See, I am her dad, for sure. Anyway, she's suing him and he's suing her back. He's arguing, well, it's my last name. All right, let's move on to Drizzy Drake. He just made for himself an easy 10 million bucks. And uh, that's for a residency he'll be doing at Wynn Hotel in Viva Las Vegas at XS Nightclub. Now, uh, he posted this photo to Instagram to share the good news. He stated, new home. Now, I've actually been to this club before. The venue, it seats around 1,600 people. You can also get another 3,200 on the outside near the pool. And Drake, well, he's been paid $2 million by this venue for a 30-minute set. So I'm assuming he's gonna get, well, maybe five to 10 shows for the 10 million bucks. Probably five. Well, ah, maybe because you get a bundle, they stretch it out. Now, Mike, the situation, he is set to serve eight months at the Federal Correctional Institute in Ottisville, New York, and this is for tax evasion, which he pled guilty to just last year. Now, you gotta imagine that this is gonna be tough. It also makes sense now on their latest season of Jersey Shore that he was just eating his life away because what good is a six pack gonna do you in prison? Now, you can show your support with the hashtag free stitch, and he's also started a YouTube channel with his wife. It's titled The Sorrentinos, and right now they have 17,000 subscribers. Crazy. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Facts. My name is Lauren Sorrentino. That's right. This is my husband, Michael. Yes. And today we're going to tell you a little bit about how we met. Now, Netflix, they are raising its US price. Its most popular plan, it will see the largest hike from $11 to $13 per month. 
Now the option, it offers high definition streaming on up to two different internet connected devices, which you can do simultaneously. You know, you got the kids, they're on the iPad, good for that. The extra cash will help pay for Netflix's huge investment in original shows and films and finance the heavy debt it is assumed to ward off rivals such as Amazon, Disney, and AT&T. Now due to the recent success of Bird Box, I'd have to say it seems like it's money well spent. And even at the higher price, well, it's still cheaper than HBO, which is $15 a month. Now, another story I wanna to bring to your attention, someone I would consider a good friend and an amazing guy, he's YouTuber Furious Pete. He made a tragic announcement just yesterday. He announced that once again, he has been diagnosed with cancer. I'm actually going in for surgery to remove that testicle. There is a cancerous mass, at least that's what it appears to be. Uh, that has taken over almost my entire testicle. Now, if you don't know Furious Pete, his battle, it's, it's, it's gone on long enough. He's had three cancer scares now in total. He's already lost his left testicle, and now the second one, it has to go. My heart absolutely goes out to this man. Uh, he just wants to be happy and healthy. He just wants to get married to his gorgeous girlfriend, Melissa, but it just keeps getting put on hold because of all these health issues. Now, he's probably having surgery today, um, I might even go over and see him. I'm just devastated by this news. So let's all wish him a speedy recovery in the comments down below. All right, moving on to what's trending on YouTube. Now, Spider-Man Far From Home, the official teaser trailer, it dropped, and we see that London Bridge, it is indeed falling down. Awesome. We got gifts, Parker, but we got a job to do. In here, we get our first look at Jake Gyllenhaal as Mysterio, and the villain, he appears to be a water version of Sandman. I looked it up, he's Hydro Man. Now, James Charles, he's back at it again with Sisters Apparel Lookbook. He's got his own clothing line now. Damn it, what can't this kid do? Hi, sisters, James Charles here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Did someone give this guy the keys to the trending page? It literally is the year of James Charles. I'm not a sister. All right, Model Rockets Battle 2 with Dude Perfect. This hit trending, fantastic video. <laughs> Game of Thrones, they finally dropped the teaser trailer and they're all going through a tunnel, gearing up for war. Something big's about to happen. Of course, there was the Gillette ad of yesterday. It caused a bunch of controversy. Let's take another look. Is this the best a man can get? Is it? Now, we spoke about this yesterday in a short famous news video, but it didn't really hit. Wasn't for my audience. I'm still figuring out the best titles and thumbnails for famous news. It's all like a work in progress. Now, trending on Instagram, we got Damn Long Neck, and he's getting iced out. Looks like he's gearing up for a rich life video. One. My. You sure? Yeah. My. There you go. My. Wrapping things up with who to follow on the come up and babe of the day. Now for you guys, uh, I get so much love in the DMs. A lot of you guys want to be on before they're famous. You guys want to just tell me you watch the show. You appreciate my work. It's really nice. I really, really appreciate it. Well, last night was no exception. I got a DM from a man by the name of Emmanuel Lizado. Leadzo, something like that. Now he's a jiu-jitsu fighter, hoping to one day become UFC world champion. He also recently called out Dillian Dennis, who's a fighter I've actually also been talking with in the DMs. So these guys are like training by day and then DMing me at night, which is weird. Your babe of the day is Tiffany Keller with 139,000 followers. See, I don't just need to find a girl who has millions. There's just so many babes. She's an LA model signed to Elite. She's from San Diego and is of Native American, Filipino, Spanish, Russian, Polish, and Hungarian descent. And finally, on the come up, we have a magician who caught my eye. He's killing it on Instagram. His name is Julius Dean. He's been making moves on IG with 5.8 million followers at the time of this recording. Damn, I wish I learned some of those tricks. Imagine they're heating up. Oh, what the f here you go. What the f 
All right, guys, that wraps up this video. Now, if you have any news stories you want to discuss, you can find me on Instagram or Twitter at McCrudnem. I appreciate all the love and the support. Also, be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications. Those are so important now. And we're trying to build a community here with Famous News. So, uh, well, we appreciate each and every one of you who tune in. I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!